Growing up, I would have said I was healthier than everyone else. I was really strong. I could do push-ups, I played volleyball, I worked construction, I rode horses, but I also knew that I was the kid that had to go to bed at 8.30 at night. If I overdid myself for a few days, then I would be sick for a couple of weeks. Because I struggled with health, I had to learn more. I actually met James in New Mexico. I look on top of this really sharp cliff and there is this handsome redhead belaying. I climbed up this cliff and he was impressed. He was highly impressed and that was it. We were history. We got married and lived happily ever after. So after we got married, we actually moved to take care of my grandparents. What we didn't realize is the house that we moved into was moldy. I started seeing health issues that just dominoes in the wrong direction drastically. I was getting skinnier and skinnier, losing my muscle, and I couldn't get pregnant because I wanted to have another baby. I like to light up the world. I like to make people's lives better. I like to make my family's life better. I look at this and I think, I didn't have the energy to be delightful. I didn't have the energy for them to delight in me or for me to delight in them. I just remember thinking, I'm so tired. It's hard to be a good mom when you don't feel good. It's hard to be a good wife when you don't have the energy to even have a conversation. It's hard to be happy when you don't have the energy to smile. I had to make some really big decisions. I was gonna keep going the rest of my life, fighting for everything I had and losing, or I had to do something radical. As I took my products, within three months of doing this, I was getting up for about three hours a day. At a year, I was traveling around and speaking that I'm thriving, not surviving. And then after two and a half years, I couldn't believe it, honestly. Um, I remember my friend calling me up at nighttime and she said, at 4 a.m. we're leaving to do a Spartan race. And she picked me up. James came with us because he expected to pull me off of the field. We ran five miles to 25 obstacles. And out of over 900 women, I got 43rd place. And I remember just thinking, I'm alive. <laughs> I'm not just alive, I'm thriving, like I'm healthy. I knew that I was not just healthy. I was strong. I was better. <laughs> I had my light back. The delight that I had for my kids, for life, for myself, for being able to be out in the outdoors. I got pregnant and had an incredible birth, incredible pregnancy, healthiest baby I've ever had, the healthiest baby I've ever seen. <laughs> it's been such a blessing to have a third kiddo and we're excited because we want more. I want to raise wonderful little humans that make a difference in everything. Now that I'm healthy, I want to live. Like I want to thrive, I want to do things. I want to travel. I want to be present and just enjoy everything that's out there, and I'm loving it. I'm excited about the blessing of life. I'm Shoshana, and this is my story.